Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for tuning into my channel. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe below. I'm working really hard to get that thousand subscriptions. I just finished up with this work of art. It is a nine foot tall, six foot wide set of angel wings. They actually hang independently on the wall like a picture frame would. They're very lightweight and made with cedar shingles. Absolutely stunning in person and large enough to stand in between for a photo op. Gorgeous. All right, so this is the palette of cedar shingles. I used two palettes. They're about 16 bucks each. Some Gorilla Glue, some hot glue, some paper, a roll of paper. So I put it on the wall to kind of figure out my pattern. Once I have my pattern, I cut it out on my roll of wire. And then I cut out both of them. Then I decided it probably wasn't strong enough to hold the cedar shingles, so I added some cardboard. Then I needed to hot glue the cardboard and put some Gorilla Glue. And if you see that bottle of Malibu, just mind your business. All right, and then these are the cedar planks. So I kind of divide them into large, medium, all the way down to the small. And as you can see, on one end they're thicker and on one end they're thinner. Some people call them shims. They're kind of like that. They're very soft on the end, so you can cut them with a heavy duty pair of scissors. Um, and what I did was just kind of arch little notches in them to kind of make it look like feathers. And you can see how soft it is. You can just pull them right off. And I went down each side, just cutting little angles like that, making them look just like feathers. So it's time consuming, but you can see the reward is definitely worth it. So each plank has got to be cut like that. I thought about doing it with the jigsaw, but the jigsaw absolutely just destroys them because they're too thin. And there you have it. And you don't have to go all the way down to where it starts to get thick because number one, it's hard to cut, and number two, it gets hidden by layering of the feathers. And each one is just a little bit different, so they don't have to be identical. And you can see the stack that I have to do. I've got them sectioned out small to large. And boom, it's done. Wasn't that fast? Ooh, I wish it was that fast. <laughs> it was kind of time consuming. So then I started on the floor. I kind of laid them around on my cardboard to kind of place them and then I took my hot glue gun and started working, layering, making sure that they're stuck to the cardboard really well. And the hot glue worked really well for me. And because it dries instantly, you're able to, you know, pick up the wings and move them around. If, it, if I would use the Gorilla Glue or caulk or any other medium like that, I would have had to wait 24 hours for it to dry. So I was pretty happy with the hot glue. And the cedar shingles were so light that they're actually very easy to handle. So then I put it on the wall so that I could see better that they were even on each side. And then I just started working from one side to the other. Good Lord, I need a tan. Don't look at my legs. But you can see how beautifully they fit and I was a little worried going from the outside in that the thicker pieces on the end were gonna cause a problem when I got to the center of the wings, but it actually did not. It was more like a jigsaw puzzle just kind of coming together. This is the first time I've done any kind of a project like this, so I really didn't have, you know, a, a perfect idea of what I was doing. I was just kind of eyeballing it and going 
as I went. I especially love this work of art on my wall because of the palette wood and it's just a light lighter shade of you know than my palette wood and I just think it looks so pretty on my wall here's another fun fact about this project it costs less than $50 to make um, that's two palettes of shingles tools hot glue everything included um, it's a very portable project. It actually hangs on the wall like a photograph with a picture wire. So you can pick it up, move it, store it, and it's relatively light. I wanna say each wing weighs under five pounds. Most of the feathers I did leave all one length, but the closer I got to the inside of the wings, I actually had to cut the cedar shingles in half so that it would be shorter, so I wouldn't have so much wood to work with. It's got smaller and smaller towards the middle. Okay, this is burlap and I've made just a needle out of wire, tied some jute to it, and just went in and out, in and out, in and out of this length of burlap um, material. It's not wired on the edges or anything, and then I just kind of gathered it up, and I wanted to put it in between the two wings because the edges of the wings in the middle were not really, they didn't look finished enough to me. Okay, and there you have it, finished product. Oof, I need a tan. And there it is. And you can see on the edges and on the sides, it's almost 3D in the way that it looks. In some places when I wanted it to stand up a little more, I put a little piece of wood that I had cut off under it to make the edges stand up. And it's really just a magnificent project finished and in person. It really is a pretty product. Thank you for viewing, and if you like this video, please like it down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.